you're, you know, but we're going to win. I think we're going to win. But after we win, I'm going to be convinced that Joe Biden was trying to help us the whole time. Well, here's he put on the MAGA hat. The MAGA hat was crazy. That was crazy. When he put on the MAGA hat in front of those guys, and they all cheered, and he insisted on keeping the hat, and he took it with him. I think he's very, very <laughs> resentful that he got ousted in what yeah. was essentially a coup. Yeah. And, and I'd love to know what, what happened there, by oh, the way. I would love to know what happened. Again, I'm just going to get some people on Facebook. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to turn it off. Folks, I've had family members die from a drug problem. So is J.D. Vance. No one's going to lecture me, but please, please, you, you cannot live your life trying to be offended by everything. I'm just begging you to understand J.D.'s having a back and forth with a guy who's very funny, who has a big audience. It was very relatable. He was just making a joke. And I promise you, I promise you, that joke hit with a lot of people who were like, wow, this guy's not so serious about politics. It's, if he would have went on there and joked about throwing Hunter Biden in jail, I promise you, the left-wing media, even though it was a joke and it was even funny, they'd be like, oh my gosh, they're tyrant. Do you notice they left that alone? Why? Why did the left-wing media leave it alone? Why? Why didn't they come out and attack J.D.? Because they didn't want you to hear that. Because they knew it was funny. 